beautiful people. <laughs> oh, welcome to my house. Let's go. <laughs> so, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Patsy Sparkles, and I'm back at it again today with a new video and i am so excited you can see the excitement in my voice guys finally i have my own house <laughs> i have my own place guys like oh god every other thing in the uk has actually been easy you know the stages are going according to plan but this house thing oh my jesus ha anyways beautiful people welcome to my house so finally guys i was able to get an accommodation and this is a shared apartment with myself and my friend okay we got a two bedroom flat finally guys and we got it in a very very nice area very nice location but as you can see if you are seeing the sides things are not yet as it should be because right now I, I'm sleeping on a pump bed. <laughs> I do not have a wardrobe yet. So look at all my clothes there. Look at all my shoes. But it's okay because this first night here felt better than every night I've spent in whatever Airbnb apartment. In fact, I know it would be. It feels better than every hotel I've ever slept at because this felt like my shelter, my home, like. This is my space and I feel so good. Okay, so guys, let me take you around. So this bed, uh, this house is a two, I mean, this flat is a two bedroom apartment. And um, we have one toilet, one sitting room and one kitchen, which are shared. But my, you know, normally probably like a new family, a couple, or just a guy that has money or a lady that you know is working well can actually get this accommodation by herself and pay for it by herself which give me like let's say six months i'll get there in jesus mighty name no matter how hard it is for people we know how be hard for me no god jesus christ you know our army so let me take you around look at my pop bag don't even ask you will see later so this is my entrance because other people pass their door too, as you can see. But this is just for the entrance. This is not a house. And I open my window and I go into my flat. Okay. Hold on, I need to open that. <laughs> so this is my entrance door, as you can see. Let me lock the door. Now, when you come inside my house, on your right, this is the first thing you see. And this is our store, okay? See? Good. So guys, another thing you need to know is this accommodation is not supposed to be furnished, okay? It's just, it just comes with white goods and white goods are, you know, the washing machine, the fridge or freezer and the kitchen, okay? That's all. Yeah, I think that's all for white goods. Yeah. The kitchen, the zinc and all that. Pots, plate, blah, blah, blah. All that you need to buy yourself. Your chairs, your bed. You have to buy that yourself. Because it's a non-furnished apartment. There's all that furnished. And you get everything. Your bed and stuff. You might not get pots and all that. But you get beds and chairs. Some might have TV. Some might not. So my house does not have any of that thing. Except the you know done kitchen which is the mic no which is the washing machine the fridge and the kitchen cabinet okay so now let's go so but apparently i think the last person that lived in this house oh god bless them whoever they here and i hope they are doing well left most of their things things that i'm supposed to buy and i now remember like to be honest most of these things that this person that this person or whoever it is lived here dropped were well, the same things like i literally have to drop in nigeria and give out to people too so i guess 
it's my lucky day. So anyways, we are not going to be spending so much on things to buy, but let me show you guys. And the person in this house dropped this. So guys, I moved in yesterday. He, he or she dropped this. I think this is... I don't even know the kind of blender it is, but I think this person is... um. What's it called? Was a baker or something. This is hand mixer. Like they are still paleo. This is... Ugh, I don't know how to show you. So this is a cook works like a three bowl steamer. This person left a lot of cups. But hi, I had to buy this blender yesterday. Because I moved in yesterday, but I still had to buy it today night. Because you know how I like my food. Because you know here, there's no place to blend your pepper like you know. Yeah, but in the market, you have to blend it at home. So I had to buy a blender like that yesterday. That was morning when I came to the house and I said there's no blender. First thing I had to get. So secondly, this is my roommate's, my flatmate, my friend's space. Oh, that is bad. Anyways, this is his room, but I'm not going to show you guys that because we are not invading his privacy. And this is my room. And on our corridor, I'll be in our passage, there's a mirror. So if you come and greet us, you can check yourself out in the mirror first. Let's go into my room. Ooh. Welcome into my lovely abode. So this is my room. This is what it looks like. It's, it's big enough. These are my bags. That's the door. And this is the floor. So so my room is not an ensuit room and i do not have my toilet in the room because ensuit rooms are actually quite expensive for the to be honest i even wanted to take ensuit myself not like it's even too expensive god can still do it i buy a long bill but the thing is there was no even availability so instead i just decided that you know what me and my guy will take this house together and we were so lucky we had a guarantor that helped us and because of him it was so easy first of all i've not got him a bed i was actually supposed to get a bed on friday i mean but i moved in on tuesday so i can't get a bed and the the delivery i mean the bed company because i got like a good deal they only deliver on friday and the delivery is also free and uh, these are expensive so i cannot be using to be spending all this small small money if i say i should buy the bed on amazon or this thing it's expensive because i need bed and bed frame okay i would have actually even bought bed alone but this company the bed they are selling the bed and the frame and the mattress is actually like cheap is almost the price that i used to buy another bed so i had to buy this pump bed you know after my quarantine when my uh, my flatmate and i my friend we had to share a room because we were trying to save cost so the room just comes with this small bed we bought this pump bed which was for like 40 pounds which saved so much cost that made sense and someone sleeps on the bed someone sleeps on the floor and we paid for just one room which was much better than you know paying for two different rooms on airbnb what else and so in the room the bed when it comes will definitely be here i need a shoe rack i need wardrobe i need a reading table you know and i want to put it in my room maybe sometimes i don't want to go to the city room so this is the top of my room now let's go and check the other part of the house my room we go out and we enter into the city room guys look at this this house is supposed to come unfurnished, but the last person here left this mirror. There's this sofa. There is a table there. And also a tea table by the side of the sofa, which has been so helpful. Like, I don't even know what this stuff is meant to do. Okay, I guess this was supposed to be like a mini... I guess this space was supposed to be like a mini dining area. And look, this is where I'm sitting here, so let me show you. 360. And then there is the eater. Boom. 
So this is another thing here, the TV stand that this person left. I don't know where we're supposed to put the TV. I think our TV has to be, like, we can't put it on the wall because of this thing. So it might have to be like the one that has a stand and we put it on here. And so this is our stuff, we bought bed sheets and uh, duvet sheets. So these are like personal details, which I am not gonna be sharing. And I've been eating a lot of mentors cause of cold cough and all that. So now I'm from our city room. I hope I need a good tour. Let me show you again. Okay, so this is another look of the city room. My favorite part is the mirror, obviously. So finally, my most favorite part of the house, the kitchen. I don't even know if my you know if my video is doing so well but yeah this looks like i've been living here for the past one year but no <laughs> i'm sorry i just have a lot of stuffs that i'm trying to think of how to put i'm trying to think of where to put them anyways guys so the first thing is this shelf here and that's where i put like my you know almost everything i brought from nigeria this is where they are and then I have onions. My sweetheart sent me yam and indomie. Guys, like, do you know how much I've been craving for yam? As you can see, I already ate part of it. I was so hungry. Immediately I got it. I just, you know, made yam. So this was the um, blender I bought. This is a Maggie from Cooking. My cooking oil, you can't actually enter this place for some reason. I don't know where to put it. So I'm just trying to find my way. This is banana. So these are the things that were in the house. This is our gas, which I've already used. This is drawers for cutlery. And yeah, we met this cutlery here. It's a lot of them. Then there's a fridge. You know, it's among the white goods. And then there is the microwave. This person also left their microwave and their kettle, which is so much nice, which is so good and then this is another shelf this is our provision shelf so everything here we brought it from nigeria yeah everything yeah we have not bought any other provision except from these breads and heck this is the nice so i quickly bought this pot and this pesto i brought it from home and all that and yeah this is our washing machine so this is what our kitchen looks like so let me show you again let me show you. So this is what our kitchen looks like. Okay. Yeah. This is my house store. <laughs> so, so then we are going to the bathroom. Then this is my bathroom. Yay. Guys, look at this. This place is so big. Then there's a shelf with a mirror. This is our bathroom, this is our shower and bath. So I bought this foot mat yesterday so that we don't trip and fall. This is our bedroom slippers and this is our closet. Oh, so finally guys, your girl found a space and now I am a bona fide liver. <laughs> Bonavide resident of the UK with a home that she can call us and sleep in because I pay these bills. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.